Hageman, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you. Um, so much of the discussion surrounding the Endangered Species Act and the delisting of species takes place in a factual vacuum with those who are the most vociferously opposed to delisting and active management being the ones who are least affected. Um, I've been working on the gray wolf issues for over 20 years now in Wyoming and the Western United States. The fact is every gray wolf consumes about two large animals a month. So if you've got two, three, four thousand head of gray wolves in a particular area, you do the math. You're losing two, three, uh, four, six, eight thousand head of something every single month, whether it's other wildlife or it's sheep or it's cattle. That's what the impact is. And those are the people who live in those areas are the ones who suffer those losses. As far as livestock kills, the research that we did over the last 20 years related to the introduction of the Canadian gray wolf into Wyoming, Fish and Wildlife and the Game and Fish in Wyoming confirmed that for every confirmed kill, for every cow that was lost, we lost between seven and eight head because they wouldn't confirm those particular losses because then they had to compensate people for them. So. If you lost, if you went out into your pasture and you found three head of cows dead, you can assume that you were losing about 21 head by that one kill. In fact, during one evening, a friend of mine, a sheep rancher over in Western Wyoming, he lost 34 head of sheep in one night. When the Fish and Wildlife Service and the Game and Fish came out the next day to inspect it and see what had caused the problem, they had one confirmed kill as a wolf. They had 14 that were probable and they just had absolutely no idea what happened to the other 19 that were laying there slaughtered on the ground with the rest of them. So these are the numbers of what happens when you have an uncontrollable population, especially a population that is a predator in the top of the food chain, such as a wolf or a grizzly bear. You also have problems with your breeding program and weight loss with your cattle and sheep when they're consistently and constantly stirred up by wolves and grizzly bears and other predators. The fact is that the Endangered Species Act in terms of recovering the gray wolf population in the United States has been highly successful. The gray wolf population has been recovered. It's time to delist and I speak in strong support for H.R. 764 and I yield back. Gentlelady yields back. Is there further